How should I respond? Your first action should be to inform your manager what happened regardless. Show them the footage and say that you don't feel safe serving this group again. Now what happens next depends on how good your manager is. Manager good they will say you have the right to refuse service. And back you on it. Or will ask you to let them know when this group are back and serve them on your behalf. Manager bad they will tell you to forget about, do your job. In which case, if you still want something to be done, you go above them. You find the details for your regional manager, head office. Explain the situation. Attach the footage if possible and explain again far you do not feel safe. Really emphasize it. And if they're reluctant to back you on any action you can point out that if that cup had made contact. It would be assault and you would be fully within your rights to call the police. Worse comes to worst. If the group come in again, leave the counter immediately and go into the back. If you are challenged on it, say again that you don't feel safe. You have the right to work without fear of stuff being thrown at your head. That's not an unreasonable demand. Kick then out. Ban them from the store. If your boss says anything, Tell him his option is to uphold the ban or he can deal with the retaliation lawsuit. You are entitled to a safe workplace. Well it's rude that they do this. Just remember that not everyone is like that. Now what to do one. If you don't care much about money or salary. Deny them service too. If you do care. Then tell your manager. If possible ask them to see what's happening and then take some appropriate action. That's assault. I would report it to the police and let them know that they will be there tomorrow. You should have the right to refuse unsafe work. Show your manager the footage and tell them that the behavior makes you feel unsafe and afraid. Plain and simple that is physical harassment and you don't need to tolerate it. The company would then be obligated to provide you with a safe working environment and prevent those people from being near you. Someone else posted that you should refuse them service. Don't do that. You aren't a manager you don't have the authority to do that. And if the kids wanted to be assholes they could claim you were discriminating against them. Just keep your head up. Know your rights. And you do have the right to work in an environment that doesn't threaten your physical well-being. Or your dignity. I'm sorry that this is happening to you and you don't deserve it. Tell your boss and refuse to serve or be around them. They should ban whoever threw it. If not you're not protected from a hostile environment and you could sue your boss. If your boss is cool they'll screenshot the video with the kids and print it labeling do not serve. Then hang it. Hopefully the gossip gets to their fam. 1. You're working for you and your family. Please don't feel embarrassed. If fast food workers stopped doing their jobs, there would be a disturbing amount of unhappy people. 2. In my state, what you've described is minimally disorderly conduct. Depending on how close the drink impacted to you, it could even be assault. Had it hit you, it would have been a battery. The latter two are complaints you could make, as you are, would be the victim of the act. 3. That's super debasing and unsafe behavior. And contributes to an unsafe working environment. Unfortunately, most places don't seem to have much concern to retain workers. But if your boss, company does, they should take action. Of the super base minimum. T there is absolutely no reason the thrower shouldn't be trespassed from the restaurant's property. It'll be up to your manager to do it on behalf of the company. But it's ridiculous to pretend that behavior is okay. Or that other customers would continue to purposefully choose that environment. You would go to jail at you if you follow my advice. How are you able to check the tapes? Who let you do that? Your manager should be the one telling your bosses that their employees are working in threatened situations. Take a toilet break and let your manager serve them. 
I don't know what state you live in. But part of your manager's job is to provide a safe working environment. Tell your boss so that hopefully there is some kind of paperwork, record that you reported the incident. For later, if corporate or the police have to get involved, have the boss explain to the kids that she, him had watched the footage and that they will definitely be banned if they do anything remotely close to that again. Explain to them that that is assault and the company will be pressing charges if it happens again. Then sit back and wait. I'd share it on social media. Do not be embarrassed. You are an adult with a family and you work hard for your money end of story. 100% speak to your boss. You should not be taking this kind of abuse from anyone. Push to get them banned this is ridiculous. I worked in fast food throughout my entire high school career and I'd be damned if I had let anyone treat me that way. You are a person who deserves to feel safe in the workplace. Absolutely have your boss intervene. Ban those little jerks. Otherwise, you're going to snap one day. And it's not worth it. Your boss should have your back in this. And if they don't go and work for their biggest competition, you deserve so much better than this. GIF. My advice isn't helpful but story reminds me of his. Be sure not to talk to any strange men at the hospital. Seriously if your managers don't respect you enough to pretend to care there is nothing you can do. I am sorry this happened to you. If I ever found out one of my kids treated someone like that I would lose my mind. Parents need to raise their offspring better. How disrespectful. Again I'm sorry you have to endure that kind of harassment. People are such pieces of garbage. I'm sorry. I would refuse service. If that's not an option get the revenge via the movie, Waiting. If there's one rule to follow it's. You don't mess with people who handle your food. At what point does intentionally throwing things at someone count as an assault? If anything they should be refused service. Just saying that is assault and if it's as big of an issue as you say perhaps involving the legal system might be a route to go down. I see no reason why you can't charge them with assault. You have video evidence of them attempting to physically hurt you. I'd probably go that route. Kids got to learn how to behave somehow. That's technically assault, call the police and get that footage. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.